angels welcome back i hope that you are all okay and that you've had a really good week thank you for bearing with me last week with me being a little bit under the weather i'm back now i'm firing on all cylinders so it's lovely to be back with you on this beautiful thursday afternoon well, afternoon in England, potentially morning, wherever in the world you are. So what we're going to do today is, are they going to contact you and when? So it's kind of for you guys that are in separation or your person's been gone a little bit ghost or a little bit AWOL. Um, we're going to have a look at their, when they're going to contact you. Okay, are they going to contact you and when? So as always, we've got the two decks to pick from. It works on the strongest mutual energy between you all. Deck number one and deck number two, pick the deck that you are most drawn to. So where you feel the energy pulling you, number one and number two. Okay, feel that heart-centered energy and push it to the deck. For you and your person there's automatically a strong sense of heaviness coming up as we're going into this reading but there's a lot of upturned emotions that are saying as we're going into your energy okay so let's do this deck number one so like i said it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all regardless of your circumstances and situation we go into all your energies all your people's energy and pull out the strongest line the strongest connection between you all so and if you need me for a private reading, just drop me a message. All the details are in the comments. Also, the website is up and running uh, and there's a contact form on there. Okay, so think about your person for me. Can we get into their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes? Right, we just had a bunch of songs come through my right ear then. So how I work is I'm cloud audience. I hear spirit. Okay, they, they talk to me all the time. In my left ear, it's very close, guys. In my right ear, it's higher dimensional beings such as senders, masters, angels, goddess, everything like that. They kind of come through my right ear. And it's like a radio. So it's like a kind of frequency, that white noise frequency. Um, and sometimes when the songs come through, they go through one to the next, to the next, to the next. And you just had that. You had a bunch of songs coming forward in my right ear for you so let me just try and tune into one or two of them specifically so we're getting um Fleetwood Mac we're getting Dreams by Fleetwood Mac um I'm also hearing Rhiannon coming forward with that song as well so some quite kind of magical mystical songs coming forward with deck number one you guys watching are in your power with this connection and even though you're feeling a little bit low a little bit heavy a little bit weighed down by everything you guys are actually um kind of very str standing strong on an energetic level so you're feeling a bit low but energetically your vibration that you're sending out is really really strong so that being said it's really important that you focus on your energy and your thought processes remember it only takes 17 seconds for a thought to come into reality um, and if you want to try that out just ask the universe to show you something beautiful and see what happens the quicker it happens in your energy is the quicker you are manifesting okay so 17 seconds for a thought to come into reality so if you are spiraling on this negative thought process what you'll be doing is pushing it out into the universe so if you do find that you're negatively spiraling when it comes to them not contacting you where they are what they're doing uh, do try and break that momentum um, not so easy as switching your thoughts I always think that's a very very difficult thing to do uh, but if you can break the momentum by I don't know doing something you enjoy so snoozing going and having a nap is a really really good thing to do because uh, that breaks the momentum you also have you know, things like seeing your friends, painting your nails, having a coffee, singing, dancing, anything that just raises your vibration up, okay? Um, just to be aware of your thoughts on it because you are in that high energetic alignment at the moment. So tell the universe what you want, not what you don't want. So they're going to contact you. Can you tell me, will deck number one contact those watching? Will their people contact them? Okay. okay, 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 okay. So there's a lot of heaviness, a lot of kind of pain around deck number one at the moment. And you are feeling a little bit stuck. You're feeling a little bit uncertain about what pathway and what direction this is going in. It's like you guys have probably said some things to them um, and sent them, maybe some of you have written letters. Maybe some of you have sent them longer text messages to say, why are you blanking me? Why are you ignoring me? What is going on? And you've probably been met with either a dead end or um, 
you know, kind of just pushing you aside. So there is this sense of feeling very stuck over the situation, feeling very heavy over it. Um, and when we kind of come back to what Spirit said at the start about aligning your energy and being in that high vibration, please kind of coming back to being aware of your thought processes. So if you've told them how you're feeling and you've been met by a blank or a it's not happening, I'm not speaking to you, um, you are going to be feeling this sense of heaviness over the situation right now. And this is initially what your first three cards are saying. Okay, so you have your three of swords, you have your eight of swords and you have your hanged man energy. Now the hanged man, some people can see this as a kind of negative card, as a bit of a low card, but I do quite like him. I do quite like the hanged man. So even though he's kind of a little bit stuck and a little bit uncertain of what's really going on, it's in these kind of quiet times and these periods where things go a little bit down that you have the biggest breakthroughs, you have the biggest thought processes on things. So through this kind of heartbreak and this pain and this struggling, um, you are going to be having these bit of a wake up call over the situation and what it is that you want from it. OK, so what do you actually want from it? You're going to be doing a lot of soul searching. You're going to be burying deep and you're going to be thinking through your thought processes on what it is that you actually want. Where do you want this to go? Spirit is saying with this, there's also this sense of uh, reevaluating your worth. So you're going to be, you know, you might be going through a bit of a dark time, going through some dark nights of the soul, but you are reevaluating your worth and you're getting into this very strong empress, emperor energy where you are in your power, okay? So this is why this hanged man energy is coming up over here. There's a sense of uncertainty going on with the connection and you really aren't quite sure what is going on or what is going to happen. So there's also this sense of trying to stay balanced on everything, um, keeping your thoughts, again, coming back to the thought processes, keeping out of the mind. Um, I often find that if you are more in this mind energy, um, the best way to counteract it is to go into earth energy. So if you are sitting there, again, kind of coming back to the thought processes at the start, if you're very much in air energy, counteract it with earth energy. So getting outside, going for walks, eating root vegetables, um, drinking natural spring water, anything along those to just kind of counteract the air energy with the earth energy. And that again will help you step out of your mind and into where you are heading. You've got movement coming forward from your person. Okay. And we have Knight of Cups energy. So quite a strong movement here based on their love for you. So there are emotions. It feels as if your person largely has just gone into overdrive, had a paddy, had a panic, uh, freaked out and said, no, you know what, I'm taking a step back. There could have been some arguments, some conflict, some tension, but a lot of you with deck number one, it feels as if there has been unresolved answers, like you haven't had the answers that it is that you need. Now, the reason for that is because your person has actually kept the door open for you. So the majority of you, they haven't said to you, that's it, I'm done, I'm out. They haven't said to you, that they are out of the situation. They have just kept the door open. So they haven't given you any answers. They've just gone a little bit quiet, a little bit AWOL. And the reason for that is so that they can potter back towards you. So you have got this movement coming back in. Three cards of movement, okay? Three cards of movement. Now, do be aware if you're watching them on social media, this is coming up, Spirit are talking about social media, not to try, try not to overly stalk them because you might see some things that upset you a little bit, like they're getting on with their life and they're out with their mates and they're doing this and they're doing that. A lot of that is a pretense and a lot of that is a mask. Your person is actually quite sad in their mind. They've been quite heavy. Um, they're not really sure what they're doing with their life, you know. They're just kind of meandering, hoping it's going to take them one direction or the next. So if you do say anything on their social media which does upset you, again, just kind of take a breather, take a step back, try not to overly, overly watch what they are doing. You've got movement coming back towards you. Um, and with the Hierophant over here as well, there's an underlying truth with this connection. So through this kind of heartbreak, this pain, these periods of enlightenment, your person is going to have a bit of a wake-up call. And through that wake-up call, this is where this movement is coming in from them. And again, it's movement based on love, heart-centered energy. Okay, so there is movement from your person. It's just not quite yet. Another card that kind of come up over here now when we're talking about cards that we like and cards that we don't like, Temperance. My Temperance card um, is probably my least favourite card in the tarot deck. Um, the reason for that, because even though it's kind of one up from the Magician and it's talking about things having more balance, more equilibrium, 
it does kind of signify that things aren't just happening just yet. Okay, so it's this kind of card of the word patience. And I know how much you all love the word patience. Okay, so there is a sense of needing to be patient with this connection. So let's just have a look at the Lenoma and see if we can get a timing for you on when they are going to contact you. When will they contact you? So the time for them to contact you, you're looking about two months, okay? It's going to be about two months away. Um, you're at this crossroads and you're trying to be looking deep within these crossroads and you're not really sure what's going on. Um, try again to step out of the mind. A lot of your reading is talking about your mind energy, um, trying to find answers, trying to find solutions. If you don't hear it from your person, don't take it as gold that this is happening and that is happening. Also feel that for some of you guys, there are people stirring the pot. So um, beware of sheep in wolves clothing, spirit. So you're feeling a bit of loss. There is a sense of loss going on over here. A sense of loss that the truth is being revealed and you're not really sure what is happening. Um, when they come back to contact you, we have again this Hierophant over here um, talking of the truth. So you are going to get your answers in the end. You are going to hear what's happened. They will explain that to you. Um, but you've got, it's a waiting game. It's waiting it out. So... Um, with this kind of songs that we had at the start with a bunch of Fleetwood Mac and this kind of more magical energy, um, do align with yourself, do align with your purpose and what you feel is right by you. Do trust your inner knowledge, do trust your inner knowing. Your person will reach out to you, it's just that you have to be a little bit patient for it to happen. Um, they are thinking of you, they do care about you, they're just um, running, they're running. Running, running, running. Wouldn't be surprised if a few of you have got a twin flame uh, frequency going on over here or soulmates that have got a kind of a bit of a heavier karmic energy with you guys. Um, if you need a karmic clearing, just give me a shout. Again, all the details are in the description. So about two months and you will be hearing from your person. Okay, guys, and that is deck number one. I'm sending tons of love to you all. Stay safe uh, at this moment in time with everything that's going on in the world. Look after yourselves and lots of goddess blessings your way. Ciao. Okay guys, deck number two. So as I said at the start, this works on the strongest mutual energy between you all, regardless of your circumstances and situation. So think about your person for me. Let's get into your person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes. And let's see what is going on. So we're going to find out, are they going to contact you and when? Oh, let's see what's going on. Okay, two more. My guy just said two more. So I'm getting um, Take Me Home, Country Road, which is quite an interesting song for you guys to be getting as we're firstly stepping into the energy. So let's talk about these two cards before I go any further and looking at the contact. So you've got Tower and you've got the Ten of Wands, okay? So it looks like something has gone on with you guys, that something major has happened. It could be, you know, it could be a big tea tower, like really big arguments, not talking, go away, never going to speak to you again. Or it could be little tea towers where something a little bit more has, uh, a little bit not quite as big has happened, but it still created this tension, these arguments, this conflict, um, this kind of difficult times that you guys are going through. And it's left you both both of you, feeling quite burdened by the situation. Now, when we're looking at the Ten of Wands, it's quite interesting that we've got the song, Take Me Home, Country Road. This guy's kind of walking down this road to his destination of the castle at the end. So the castle would be your long-term objectives of you and your person, where you want to go, what you want to do with them. And there is this kind of moving forward from the situation. So where this tower is hit, and it might feel like all hope is lost, you do still have movement heading forwards, okay? The movement is heavy, it's a little bit burdened, it's a little bit difficult, it's probably two very strong opinions, points of view, you're like a hurricane and a tornado, both of you, when you come together it creates this big sandstorm, oh, well, creates this big storm between the both of you, okay, um, so it's left you both feeling a little bit heavy, a little bit heavy on the heart, a little bit of uncertainty over what's going to happen. Where's it going to go? Are you two ever going to talk again? Or, you know, what do they actually want? What do you guys want? 
and it's been this conflicting energy going on. But as we know over here, like I said, you have got this movement coming forward, okay? So even though it's a little bit stuck and a little bit difficult for you at the moment, there is still movement happening. Here come my sneezes. <coughs> oh, I sneeze when I start reading. I never sneeze and I start reading and I don't stop. So are they going to contact deck number two? Are there people going to contact deck number two? So it doesn't even really look like you guys are kind of out of contact. You might have gone a little bit quiet on one another. Um, but the overall energy over here, I'm just going to stop there, um, is that, you know, it's just been a bit of a difficult time, a bit of a situation that's caused this conflict and this tension with you guys. But it's really, really short lived, really short lived. OK, so I'm just going to do the Lenormand to begin with as well. So we'll start off with these. Can you tell me, will that person contact them? Yeah, straight away, you've got this energy of they are going to get back in contact with you. Um, and it's not even that far away. You know, it's kind of more in the immediate future. You've got a lot of emotions kind of building up with you guys, but your overall outcome over here is, yes, you have got this communication coming forward. Um, there's a sense of loss at the moment. And there is going to be this communication of loss coming up when you guys do talk. So they will explain to you how they've been feeling. They're going to f tell you and explain to you that their emotions have been a little bit um, on the low, that they, they're feeling a little bit down, a little bit sad over things. Um, but the more there is a much more positive energy coming up with your cards. So even though it's difficult at the moment, over here, you're heading in the right direction. When are they going to contact you? Anytime. Anytime, uh, I would give it a month for the majority of you as max. <laughs> really, anytime now you will be hearing from them. So looking at your tarot cards um, and then contacting you, you've got your Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Nine of Cups. Um, so for those of you that read tarot, those are really, really positive cards. For those of you that don't, you've got these elements of new beginnings happening over here with your aces. So your aces always stand for these new beginnings. Now, with it being an ace of wands and an ace of pentacles, you have a much more stable beginning over here. And it's like this tower has had to happen uh, for them to get their passion into the connection to realise that this is what they want. So this tower, even though it's been a bit shit and a bit heavy, is actually a positive because um, every action has a reaction, you know. Um, so this action over here of this tower hitting and this feeling burdened energy is creating these more positive reactions of you and your person. And these positive reactions are them reaching out to you. Are you guys starting afresh? Brand new beginnings. Um, you know, I just got uh, you only know you love her when you let her go. That was by journey no it wasn't i can't remember who sang that uh, but the one that says you only miss the sun when it starts to snow so there's a lot of transformation that has been happening with you guys so even though it's gone crap you've been going through this period of transformation and coming out the other side and the other side of it is much more positive you've got these new beginnings everything kind of coming true there is going to be a need for you guys to openly communicate your person's very good at shadowing how they really feel about things however when they do speak to you this time there is going to be them talking about how they do really feel they are going to express it to you um they're going to say something like they probably lost their head a little bit they weren't really sure what they were doing they acted because they were angry um and it is important for both of you to listen to one another and find that mutual ground between you guys your person's feeling quite sad over this quite burdened by it feeling a bit of a, well, quite a bit of a sense of loss over it all. Um, but at the same time, this loss is leading to this transformation to bring in what it is that you want from the connection. So really, really positive outcomes happening over here. Really good stuff. Like I said, it's going to be, it won't be long before you hear from them. The other three cards that we have at the bottom are your Nine of Pentacles, your Queen of Cups and the Star. The beautiful, beautiful Star Maiden. OK, Star Maiden talking about hope with you guys. Queen of Cups talking about love, their emotions, how they feel and how you feel for them. Again, the cup coming up symbolising the cauldron transformation. Your Nine of Pentacles over here is your strong, independent, sassy power. We also have a uh, blessed raven, a, a blessed falcon at the top over here, um, signifying the freedom of the connection. OK, so 
there is going to be the sense of coming out the other side going through this period of um feeling a bit heavy but moving forward and as you can see your person over here is by the tree looking to the tree for wisdom for knowledge they're thinking things through they're wondering where is it going what's going to happen next but you are at the back of their mind all the time and you can see the moon at the top by the elder tree and um, they are focusing on you they're wanting the stability and security of the connection um, they are looking back to the past and how they've handled things and thought well you know I should have done that differently and I should have done this differently and if they haven't done it yet again in the coming weeks this is what is going to be happening and that is then going to release the situation transform it into moving forward with the two of you being together so the raven uh, I keep calling it a raven the falcon moving forward into the future OK, really forward focusing future with freedom involving the two of you with these new beginnings, very, very strong energy coming up over here. Lots of hope, lots and lots of hope. If you're worrying that your person has an agenda with this, spirit are saying that they don't. They don't. Um, looking at the star card as well, spirit is saying into the womb. When they talk about the womb, they talk about the womb of creativity that um, that women hold. Um, often you'll find in trees, you'll find the, the womb within a tree. Um, and it speaks about the, the creativity that lies within us. So you have this transformation, but everything comes from our womb of creativity. So again, with this connection, you've got this movement, you've got this shifting, you've got this um, gestation period for new birth. You know, lots of positives in deck number two. Do keep balanced on it. Um, again, open communication really, really coming forward. And as we said at the very start, even though it's a bit heavy at the moment, you're making headway in the right direction and you will get there. OK, with the, the castle at the top, really heading in the right direction for you both. The, uh, the tower hit and it was a heavy, heavy tower. But on the plus side, like I said, Sometimes these things have to happen for people to realise what they want. And this is what's going to go on with your person. And over here, looking at this, even though at the moment there is a sense of loss, you have a lot more stable emotions coming forward. So your person is going to explain to you how they feel. And that is that number two. So it's pretty cool reading. OK, if you need me, drop me a message or the comment. Um, all the details are in the comments. Uh, I love you all to pieces. I will speak to you all super soon. Stay blessed. Thank you for bearing with me last week with me feeling a little bit under the weather. Uh, look after yourself, guys, and I'll speak to you soon. Goddess blessings.